Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today I'm excited to show you the latest update to Bridge Commander Remastered. This is the unofficial expansion version 16. From what I've been told, this is very close to being released. Now rather excitingly, this version comes with the USS Enterprise G, and it also comes with the USS Cerritos. Now despite what you might think of the Neo Constitution 3, you can't argue that this is a very nice rendered model. It's much more detailed than the previous Titan A that we saw in Bridge Commander. Now what interests me in particular about this ship is that the Enterprise G variant is actually different to the Titan A variant. Now I think this is entirely feasible, at the very least you would expect quantum torpedoes on a ship named the USS Enterprise. Well, that's what the authors have given us. It also has upgraded phasers and more powerful shields. The question is, how will it fare against the original USS Titan A? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. I thought this would be a really good idea because we can get a feel for the upgrades, basically. A direct comparison with its predecessor. So we have quantum torpedoes. One thing I have noticed it's not like the Sovereign class where it can just churn quantum torpedoes out, they do have to reload. The original Titan is obviously equipped only with photon torpedoes. Let's increase power to the shield. I love the detailing though on this model, I really do. Okay, well, the Titan A is obviously struggling with our quantum torpedoes. They are able to fire quite a large volley of photons though, so we do have to be careful still. It's absolutely awesome that finally we have the Enterprise G in this game. Now of course there are a few Enterprise Gs and it's not the favourite one in Bridge Commander, based off your comments, but it's still nice to see. Okay, their hull is down to 50%. I do believe though that they would have made upgrades to it at that point. I mean, why not? If it was in space dock for so long. Target hull integrity at 25%. Oh, thought they were going to try ramming us then. Wow, we are absolutely decking the Titan A. Oh, careful, careful. So it would appear the increased phases, because these phases are more up to date than the ones on the Titan A. Well, they're still holding on. Severely damaged, sir. Wow, look at that. That was substantially more powerful. Okay, here we go. Now, unfortunately, we no longer have the HMS Bounty's cloaking device, which is a shame. I really think we could have used it in this battle, if I'm honest. Oh, we still hit the shield. So our starboard shield is down to 13%. Ooh, their forward shield's down to 30%. Keep firing! I'd laugh if we have greater speed. In fact, we do have greater speed. Is it because... Yeah, I diverted power to the engines. So it's like the computer's not bothering with that. Ooh. To be fair, though, this is a bit of a one-sided match, isn't it? Oh, no, I faced the wrong way. I love the detailing on this model. I think it definitely makes the ship look a lot nicer, this model. It brings out all of the details. I love the colour scheme. Port 
I like the bridge on the Titan as well. The only thing I was thinking the whole time was they have that door open in the back, which leads to the uh, conference room. And I'm just thinking, like, if you're being flung around the bridge, is that a good idea? You're going to go flying off into the other room? I'm a big fan of the original Shangri-La class, though. I really like that ship. Okay, well, the human factor is certainly making a difference. Uh-oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh! Well, I could try going for the sensors, considering this is so one-sided. They're not turning, though, are they? Ah, there we go. Well, so far, I'm quite impressed with the Titan. Our forward shield is almost at 100%, which is good. I think it's pretty obvious, though, just based off this, um, how much more of an upgrade the Enterprise G has received. Now, of course, we don't know if it was ever equipped with quantum torpedoes, but I think it's a good guess that it would have been. If indeed it was the flagship, that makes a lot of sense. I'm trying to hit their sensors, but... It's tricky. Let's roll. Roll, roll, roll. That's it. Aft torpedoes. Ugh. Oh, whoa, whoa, Quantums! Not good. I need a good shot. That's what I need. <sighs> See, they're facing me with their side shield here, so I can't really do much. Ah! The mistake is made. Got him! That was clearly down to the human factor. I'm a really big fan of this model, and it's nice to see the Canon Enterprise G finally has made it into Bridge Commander. What do you guys think of the system upgrades? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.